How we doing? How we doing, YouTube? We're gonna. We actually got a another Maltree. We got the D4000i, and I just actually opened this. Uh, we actually ordered online from Dix. They had a deal going, free shipping, 25% off your order. Plus, I had some Dix uh, rewards. So I think I ended up paying 79 or 89 dollars for this camera. Uh, which is a pretty good deal because they sell for about 139 uh, As you can tell, the trigger speed is 0.7 seconds. It says it has a 80-foot invisible flash range, and it's 16 megapixels. So let's open this thing up, which it should be interesting because we all know how packing is. So uh, I'm sure... You'll get a little sticker that says Moultrie and all that fun stuff. So, and like I said, there's a sticker with Moultrie, got your direction, and there's the camera. Uh, the reason I went with this camera is I had the 880 eyes, really liked them. Uh, I don't think I have any up on the shelf. I think I have them all out right now. So I don't see none up there. But uh, anyhow, I can tell you right off the bat, it's a lot thicker of a camera. Uh, it's it's light. I will say that. But let's open it up here. Oh, I like that. Um. Uh, Pretty much when you open these up, it just tells you it's wanting you to use Maltrier Energizer. Uh, I don't have Energizer. I get Thor cell. But it, it's asking also, the SD is asking you to use a Class 10 SD card. No, long, no larger than 32 gigabyte in size. Avoid the SD cards labeled high speed, ultra, extreme, max, etc. And it also tells you how to prepare your SD card, which I keep my SD cards in here. So, but see, I only have the class fours. So I'll have to actually get some. Uh, this one's a Maltree. Actually, I lied to you. I do have a class 10. I have it in the Maltry that they sent. So, this this one from Maltry, the 4 gig, it also is a class 10. And this one's a class 2, which I think that one came in a drone. But, so, we'll use this 8. And like I said, guys, get you one of these little, they're, they're pretty nice to have. You just throw it in your pocket, go through the woods and check your camera snaps locks all that good stuff so with <clears throat> we'll get out the directions which big thing with mall trees they're trying to sell you their uh mobile plan but anyhow it uh it just shows you that you have the mode selector and let me go and pull this out if I can get it out of here. Oh, okay, so that's your batteries. That's, that's changed in the Maltry. Usually they came out of the back. So, I'm not exactly sure. That's pretty nifty on how this is powering the camera. But, huh. Guys, comment below if you, uh, I don't understand how this actually powers the camera up. But, anyhow, we'll jump into it. We'll get some batteries put in here. Uh, I can say right now that I like the, uh, I think I like the other style a little bit better of how the batteries went in. But, we'll see what transpires here. So we'll get the batteries in here and I think this is the easiest way I found it. Don't put the 
two on bottom. I'm just kind of oops. Okay. So batteries are in. We'll put it on setup. We'll put the SD card in. And it's facing away from facing away from you. Okay. And remember guys, you always want to hear that click. It does, there's your model number and stuff for registering this camera. And we'll see if it's like the other ones. Yeah, you just hit enter and set your time, which uh, is 6.45 here now. Hit enter again. Uh, I know you guys are probably getting a horrible glare. Hit your up button. If you hold it. It does nothing on this camera if you hold it. So you actually got to push it. Get your time set. And it's still 645. Let's see. It's p.m. So once you get all your time set, the minutes, it'll switch over. You can switch it to a.m. Uh, or p.m. Then hit enter. Uh, this is going to be your date. Today's the 11th, November 11th. And it is the 26th of November. I do say I like it, the feeders, the way they're... If you hold it in, they just speed through it real quick. Uh, the year's already set, 2019. Uh, now this is going to tell you, this right here is going to uh, show you how fast you're going to take a picture. So if you put it on zero, it's going to do the 0 0.7 seconds. Every picture it takes, you, got, you can do every 15 seconds, every 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, then so every five minutes you can take a picture then you can go 0 0.7 seconds and 15 seconds which i'll set mine on 15. hit enter now it's going to ask you if you want a one picture as you can see flashing at the bottom here it's going to ask you if you want one picture and it says high so that means high revolution or you can go low and get three pictures high you can get a three picture burst and that would be recording when you see the uh but i'm going to go high one hit enter now this right here where it says 1d1 that's just naming your cameras so you can name your camera if you want to make it one or two whatever and it'll show up on the info strip uh this right here is pretty much saying do you want to delete this card of course you do because that kind of formats the card for this camera from what I've always been told and it's flashing again so it says when you do delete it, it comes back is no or in that stands for no and this camera is ready to go so now if you want to take a picture with this camera or you want to sit it out in the woods and start taking pictures you just flip it to on it's going to show you the battery life, which is 99%, and then it's going to start counting down. Then it'll start taking pictures. So, I still don't understand how in the heck this camera is getting power from the batteries over to the camera. Uh, comment below, because I'm kind of lost on this one. Uh... I do like that they give you a little cheat sheet down here. I kind of do like that. Uh, really, pretty much goes over everything that you need to do to set it up. So that's pretty nice. Um, we have to get some pictures with it and just kind of see what it looks like. And I may have to make another video on this in a or a review and uh, see 
what kind of pictures it does take. But there it is, guys. Pretty nice looking camera. We'll uh, see how it works. Hopefully it's as good as the 880i's in the Maltree, which are an older camera. They don't sell because believe me, I already looked. But uh, also, it comes with, excuse me, it comes with a strap to put around the tree. Uh, I'll, usually, I like to show you my feeder setups, but uh, I'll usually put my good cameras at a far distance watching the whole feeder. Then on the Moultrie feeders all the way around the lid, I'll have um, cameras set up, which are watching pretty well a 360 view of around the feeder. Uh, but sometimes, like I said, the reason I actually put the one away from the feeder though also, so if somebody happens to trespass on your property, you can, uh, they may not see that one. So, but anyhow, guys, again, this is the Maltree D4000i. Uh, like I said, got a pretty good deal on it, but we'll see what kind of pictures it takes and go from there. Uh, anyhow, thanks for watching. Uh, if uh, you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. Also, if you have time, go ahead and click the notification little bell on the right-hand corner uh, below this video where you're watching it. And uh, we'll try to bring you some more good videos, and I'll have to show you the feeder set up, like I said. And uh, I'll be honest with you guys, uh, real quick, if you ever have a problem with your Maltra camera, it is one of the first couple questions they ask you is what kind of batteries you use. And I, I don't know if Maltry's in bed with Energizer, but they recommend you use Energizer. I'm lucky and I can get these pretty well free of charge. So with that being said, guys, let's uh, we'll go ahead and end the video here. And I'll try to get some pictures maybe before I throw this video up and I'll put them here on the end of the video. If not, we'll just have to make another video of it. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.